Oh, it's just a small, another small video. I'm not always sure if some of them turn out. Um, but there's Crook's Peak up there. I'm not going up there today. I don't always go up there. I would probably go up there if that's if I was going to go to St Andrew's Church down in Compton Bishop, Bishop Compton. I'd probably go up there then. Um, but I'm heading for. I think I don't know if it's called St John's. It's Loxton Church. There it is. I'm just homing in on it. Look. I think that's the church. If not, it's someone's house with a tower. <laughs> and then I'll be climbing up. Up there, up, up, and I'll be walking along the top of that ridge up the top there. Right above, right on the top of, just the other side of that ridge actually. Until I get to that big copse over there, then I'll be going back down a valley. Near the River Axe. Walking back towards Bleeden. Then from Bleeden I'll walk my way back to Uphill. And then quite often I get the bus from Uphill. I don't always do that last bit up the beach. It depends what mood I'm in and how fit I feel. Um, I mean this is a good day for walking. It's not too hot. The wind's good. I'm not using gallons of water at the moment, but then you suddenly get a thirst on. I haven't even broken into my big bottle yet. In fact, I've only had a couple of slurps. And um, I think I've had an or No, I'm going to have an orange now. In a minute. So, I'm walking around Crook's Peak, really. Crook's Peak, which is one of my... It'll say to me, why aren't you coming up here? But I don't always go up there. It's not every visit. Not on um, when I'm on the big hike. I don't always divert up the peak. That's when I'm on a different mission. Um, quite often that would be the reverse. I would go up there and then cross Crook's Peak to go to St Andrew's Church. That would be a different walk. And then back to Winscombe. So I like to do the walks in reverse as well, you see. But the village of Loxton is coming into view. And it has got a very old church. Um, definitely 13th century. In fact, that, that was a tower of a house I saw. I'm just going to zoom into the actual church now. I think that's the church there. Yeah, that is definitely the church, that one. That's the church. I can see the gravestones. I'm heading for that and I'm going to sit outside and have my lunch. But there is... Yeah, look, there's a house with a tower. That's why I got confused from a distance. Now I'm heading for that. That's a good half an hour away, if not an hour. If not an hour, because I've got a walk down rickety pathways and I'm scared going all around Crook's Peak so it does it's, I would say a good hour before I'm there um, we just see how the time's going well according to this it's 11.58 which is very good timing in fact I've done that very well if that's right if that clock's right, then I'm doing very well. I can't believe that's right. But it must be. It must be right. I did the time earlier, so... Um, yeah, once I get into a stride, and I haven't done the peak, you could add on another hour if I did the peak. But this is all the way down like this and turn it flattens out again at the bottom a bit. And then you come out by um so I'm not gonna video it all the time. You come out by um what was a quite a big nightclub in the past. I can't remember 
remember its name. It's very famous, though. It's on the hill. Um, I always associate it with James Mansfield because um, apparently she played there. Be- um, I think just before she got killed in a car crash. So I always remember that. But I can't remember the name. I ought to know the name of it, but I can't remember it. So it's going to be very bumpy now. You can hear the motorway quite clearly, can't you? I need to go in that hill fort at some point. Right, over and out, everyone.